hello friends welcome once again to the channel IT simplified in today's video in Azure I'm here to talk about reserve instances but before I do I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for giving me your support and love it means a lot to me and I hope you'll continue to do that in the future that will help me to improve these sessions so let's get started and uh, we'll look into what reserve instances are uh, how you can use it and uh, what are the services which are covered within this so in order to explain this let me just take a company with the name IT simplified So this company has uh, on-prem infrastructure with a couple of machines. And right now they're in the midst of uh, looking at uh, cloud and what it can do for them. And uh, uh, one of the options that they're considering is reserve instances. So as we know, when we talk about public cloud, the way you can consume is through either pay as you go So you'll pay for how long these services are running within the environment or you can choose reserve instances you can either pick a one year or three year term and depending upon which term you choose the discounts are accordingly right but the important thing is that uh, you are committing yourself because these payments are in advance and uh, uh, whichever option you will choose one year three year uh, your services will be running and uh, the way we do it in PSUGO, maybe you can switch on and switch off the services. With the reserve instances, uh, uh, the idea is that, or the concept is that this will be running 24-7, 365 days a year. And whether you're using or you're switching it off, it doesn't matter. Your price will be there, but uh, uh, there is a significant amount of saving by using reserve instances. So the planning needs to be there in advance and uh, sizing is also important because based on which series of VM you choose, uh, your, your discount will be accordingly, right? And I'm gonna show you that in a pricing, uh, in a pricing calculator, but uh, you have to pick a one year term or three year term. Now, sometimes people will ask what happens after one year or three year? So Microsoft doesn't roll it over. So if you have picked say, for example, three year term, after the three year, uh, are over uh, your reserve instances discount will stop so you need to maybe you have this option of uh, uh, you know going again into the same uh, same model because the reserve instances is a billing model right but uh, if you choose not to it will roll over to pay as you go model right so you need to specify your uh, reach out to your your, your uh, to uh, to Microsoft, uh, and uh, then again, use three or one year term, whichever way you to go for. But the important concept: this company wants to move to the cloud, and they are looking into reserve instances because there is a significant amount of saving. And how much you can choose to show you? Let me just go to the pricing calculator. Right. So this is the pricing calculator which is generally available. And you need to pick which region you're deploying because it is, if I remember correctly, it's not applicable in all the region, right? So in my case, I've chosen Canada Central and uh, D3 version 2, and I have a pay-as-you-go model. So in pay-as-you-go model, I'm paying around about 410. If I go with a one-year, it is close to 233. And if you go with a three-year term, it's 199. So you can see... It's a huge difference from pay as you go to a uh, three-year term. Another thing which I didn't mention is reserve instances only apply to the compute. Sometimes there is a confusion also for what uh, this will be applied, right? So this only applies to compute. When I say compute, it means uh, the VM series. It means the virtual CPUs of the RAM that machine is using, right? 
it does not apply to the licensing or the other component maybe the other component which comes to my mind are the storage maybe networking data transfer it doesn't apply to that it's only applied to the compute the virtual cpu the ram or the cores that machine is dealing with right and it doesn't include the licensing so licensing like windows or linux is not part of that right but i'm going to come to the hybrid benefit so in this case as he said that this company is thinking of moving to the cloud and they also have software assurance So what they can use, what you call something uh, in Microsoft terminology, hybrid benefit. And this is what you need to switch this button to see actually how much is the saving. So if I switch this on with this for a three-year term, there is a saving of close to 84%. Now that's huge, right? Uh, you can come closer to this in pay-as-you-go model. You can apply hybrid benefit to pay-as-you-go too. But if I committing myself to three years, you can see the price difference is huge and even if you compare with one year so yes you can use a hybrid benefit and uh, bring those uh, licensing to uh, to the cloud to save money right so but uh, as I said that it only applies to the compute it doesn't apply to other components like networking storage or data transfer that is not part of that and obviously Windows and Linux is also licensing is not covered in that too so something to think about now another thing that you might need to keep in mind what series of virtual machines so if i remember on top of my head uh, a series machine version 2 machines av2 machines and g series are not part of the uh, part of the reserve instances so you can apply you cannot apply reserve instances to the series of virtual machine but the other ones there are applicable and also there are some sources that you can apply this reserve instances are for Azure VMs scale sets you can also apply for SQL database which includes single database, elastic pool, manage instance, and uh, only under the vCore category. You can also apply this for Cosmos DB and uh, SUSE Enterprise Server software too. So you can apply reserve instances for all this category. But uh, sometimes there might be a question, right? So say, for example, I move this machine over here, right? And it's under the reserve instances. So say, for example, I'm running this machine and it is using uh, D series with say four CPUs. And maybe I need to move to a higher series virtual machine, right? So reserve instances give you the flexibility to move to a high series machine as long as it's with the same series right so as long as it's the same series you can move to a beefier machine and you continue to apply the reserve instances so say for example in the same series i go with the six cpus right so for four cpus i will continue to use the reserve instances discount and for the other two uh, it can be uh, the regular one so there is a ratio that uh, Microsoft has a documentation to and based on those ratio you can move that but the important thing you got to be in the same series of virtual machine that's something to keep in mind right and uh, maybe you can also go if you're using only one machine and uh, you need to go maybe two machines in the same D series you can go with two CPUs each because initially I had uh, reserve instances for four CPUs, so you can you can do that too. So that that is also possible. So you have the flexibility within RI to to do that. Now, what happens in a case you have already committed for one year or three year, and you need to cancel the subscription? Can you do that? Yes, you can do that, but there will be a charge. So Microsoft will charge you 12% early cancellation fee. So something also to keep in mind in case you're thinking of using one year or three year term. And it should not exceed more than 
yearly. So say I have a lot of machine within my subscription, right? And in total with the discount uh, applied, uh, they are close to 150K. I'll be only eligible for 50K annually. In case I want to uh, take those uh, reserve instances out. So also, as I said, that planning is very important because you're committing yourself to run those resources for that amount of time uh, within uh, within within public cloud. But you saw that uh, uh, with reserve instances, you have a lot of a uh, saving which you generally don't get in pay as you go. And if you have uh, uh, also on-prem uh, Windows licensing save with soft assurance you can use something what you call hybrid benefit and there is a saving of up to 80 percent uh, that you can apply to those uh, series of virtual machine so this was in nutshell what uh, reserve instances are and uh, how you can utilize this within an environment to save money if you're thinking of moving to the cloud or deploying your resources within the cloud thanks for watching have a good day